come to our program's highlight. And without much further ado, let us warmly welcome SB19. Seasoned and respected actress, comedian, wow. host, and our colleague at the consulate, Ms. Ruby Rodriguez Aquino. Ruby, please take it away. Thank you, also, Naomi. Thank you very much for that beautiful introduction. Respected and seasoned. So, you can say, you hi in Naos, Manila. All right. Um, and so, um, I'm sure uh, we have experienced a lot during this tour. So, my question would be what have you learned about yourself while doing this tour? We flew from Philippines to Punta Dito, so far away, and the pagod, the jet lag. Siguro ko yung oh yeah, siguro yung paging pasensyo sa talaga. Kasi yung yung buong ano mo mas challenging yung attitude mo towards your towards the people you're working with. So yeah, para sa akin yun yung personal. Sa akin naman ano? Ako I know I'm. Ako isang extrovert na tao. Pero dito, nung nakapunta kami ng US, nagulat ako na meron pa pala akong i-level up. Kasi, <laughs> kasi sa Pilipinas, alam niyo naman na madaldal ako, na hindi pag-usap ako sa fans talaga. Pero dito, iba. Mas grabe. Like, it's your first time na mag-meet face to face. Pero alam niyo yun, yung awkwardness, wala. Walang hiya, wala at all. Parang alam niyo yun, no? Parang matagal na tayong close. Parang ganun yung feeling. Kahit sa tour naman namin, confident ako. Pero dito ko lang talaga napatunayan na ang dal-dal ko pala talaga. Yes ko, vibes ko tayo. Which is, nakakatuwa kasi as a performer, masasabi ko kailangan ko siya. Siyempre, maharap ko sa maraming tao. And kailangan ko yung confidence na yun. And kailangan ko yung dal-dal na yun. Kasi kung wala yun, hindi eh, di tayo masaya, di ba? Ayun ko, ayun sa akin. Realizations ko po, habang nasa tour, ang hirap pala nang walang bide. <laughs> ang hirap pala nang walang bide. Sobrang hirap. Kasi po, yun nga, kasihira ko dito. Tatlilakan, may, ba may basa pang dala. Nahiya akong sumagot. Ang funny ng mga entry niyo. Hihit mo, do you have a paper? Sabihin mo, yan ang pasusyon nila dito. For me po, ano, um... Diba? Siguro po, in a serious tone po, yung realization ko during this tour. Ano, um... Diba? Kasi syempre po, yung tour po namin na to, it's a step going to international po, being an international artist na rin. So, um, nagmeron pong thought or pressure na parang deserve, deserve ko ba? Or am I good enough to, to really go into this situation? And then, during nung ginagawa na po yung tour, may times na syempre, parang shucks, di, di ko ata talaga kaya. But then, As time goes by, nung nag ginagawa na namin siya, na-realize ko po na hindi ko kailangan i-invalidate yung sarili ko. Um, hindi ko kailangan isipin na kailangan ko maging best for others. But then, kailangan ko i-appreciate pa na best na ako sa sarili ko. Na ang laki na ng improvement na nagagawa ko. And I just need to be happy performing rather than thinking about perfect ba yung ginagawa ko? Um, yung ibang tao ba? Uh, para sasabihin ba nila kung maganda or pangit yung performance but then kailangan ko i-appreciate yung sarili ko so more on parang yeah 
maging confident on what you're doing and be happy in Bonsiguro. Make sure to be happy. We're really worried, so we're worried, very anxious. Uh, we don't know if people are going to support us or watch us. But once we got here and we saw the people, even our international fans, international people of the world, singing our songs, that's when I realized that we're making waves. We're really making waves. And, uh, the goal that we had before we went here, our goal is to promote Filipino culture all over the world. To raise the brand of the Filipinos, the market here in the global scene. And um, it was here in 1945, lalo na po kung na, nagpag-usap kami kay Consul General Nato, na talagang the responsibility that we have is something na hindi talaga ginagawang biro. Kasi maraming tao na tumitingan at tumitingala sa amin. So we need to set that, we need to be an example for them. So yun lang po, talagang lahat po ng kinos namin, 100% every time. Uh, Siyempre, we also think of things na talagang magiging interesting. Or we, we think of things na talagang magiging interesting kami para sa mga international fans. Kasi syempre, for, for us to be able to be effective in promoting Filipino culture, we need to think about pakulo, mga ganyan, mga bagay-bagay. Lahat lang sa social media. Um, in these times, social media, very short ang attention ng mga tao. So you need to be smart in promoting your, your, your culture and your SP90. And 